Good day, so today we're going to be changing a glow plug controller on a OM642 engine. This is a 2008.5 Jeep Grand Cherokee. So the controller is right here. This one does not have any problems with it. It just has a lot of hours and a lot of starts on it. So I just wanted to get it replaced. So it's actually the summer right now. Rather than waiting for it to get cold and miserable, I thought I'd do it in advance. So uh, to do this job, whenever you're messing with the engine, you're going to need to have uh, E sockets. So you need an E10 socket for this. You can make some regular metric sockets fit, but I'd rather just get the uh, proper tools. So uh, if you're going to, like I said, be messing with the engine in one of these, or depending on what kind of vehicle it is, it may be a Mercedes and have all kinds of these connectors or fasteners. So I've got a, uh, a deep set of quarter inch drive. These are doesn't have a particular brand on them. These tools here are Sealy. I got these from the, the UK. So this has got an E on each end. They're opposite sizes. They're opposite, opposite ends have different sizes. And then a, just a short E10. This one's a Genius brand socket here, which are pretty good. You have that. Then you also need to have a brake controller. Or not, sorry, not a brake controller, a uh, glow plug controller. So I bought the Beirut. I'd recommend going with the OEM. You can get Dorman, but if you're going to do it, you have to be very careful with part numbers. You should take the existing one off and check the part number on it before you order the Dorman to make sure it's the right one. Because there's two different voltages of these controllers on the market. You don't want to get the, the wrong one. So you can see that there, you can hit pause if you want. But uh, what you're looking for, I think that's the Mercedes part number right there. There's all various uh, part numbers on here. So this is the one we're gonna be putting into this vehicle. I already checked to make sure this is the right one. Other than that, I've got some uh, glow plugs. You'll see I have some videos on glow plug replacements and the uh, glow plug grease in there. So to do this job, I've actually, my tools are all locked up in the toolbox. So we're gonna be doing this with as minimal tools as possible. So I wouldn't normally do this, but I'm gonna use a, a non-impact socket on my uh, impact gun, because I don't have an extension. It's gonna be hard to get to. I almost need a swivel. Maybe we can do that one later. Let's see if the deep works. No, maybe we'll do it with the hand wrench. So there's a E10 there. Let's see if we can reach past everything. Yeah, perfect. Boy, it's kind of recessed in there. It's not easy to get a finger and a thumb on it. So this goes directly into the cylinder head. If it was the winter, hopefully you can get your vehicle started and warm it up before you do this. Make it a bit easier. Put that wrench down. And if you had an engine cover on here still, you'd have to remove that. It's just two 10 millimeter bolts there, here and here to get them off. So this uh, fastener is not overly long. Just gonna zoom this out. This one looks like it's a bit longer. It is about twice the length. 
This thing is like holding the engine together. It's got everything connected to it. There's a nut on the bottom of this one. I assume it's probably a uh, 10 millimeter. It's a long one there. So we'll use uh, this wrench here on this one. Ow. Why Mercedes has everything bolted to each other every time? It's a giant puzzle. Hoping there's not a nut on this one. It doesn't feel like it. I think it's a welded onto something. So that's uh, another one of the longer ones. So that this is out of there. Just check your wiring and see if there's any fraying. You'll find that the uh, power wire that comes from the battery area will fray, so you need to rotate this and give it some space. So we'll just take this off. Need a, a flat screwdriver, I think. Maybe not. Sealed connector does not want to come off. Get a flat screwdriver. Luckily, the screwdriver is not in my toolbox. Well, there's a squeeze tab on both sides, that's why it's hard to get it off of here. All right. So, this is uh, the part here. We'll compare them, see if there's any changes in the part numbers. So the older ones on the bottom, again, you can hit pause if you want to take a look at this. I'm curious if there's a date code on here. This one's written in German, 6 zil versus... This one's got an extra line on it. If you're curious and it was broken, you could take this apart and look inside because there are some high current connections in there. And if you look at some DRMAX videos, you'll see that you could uh, possibly, pardon me, take these apart and uh, resolder the connectors if needed. Put that on there. Keyed, so you can't get this wrong. Now if you were going to do some diagnostics on here you could use these pins to reach to the glow plugs and see if the glow plug wire is good and also check the resistance through the glow plug into the ground. That's in on that side, on that side. Put this wire back behind that boss there. Like that. Lay this down here somehow. And that is about it. This will start the vehicle, we'll see if it runs or not. Shouldn't be any fear of losing anything into the fan or anything.
so there's no codes there. I'm going to continue putting this together. If you stop watching now, that's fine. So uh, thank you for watching, and uh, you might find some useful uh, links in here as well for different items. At the uh, in the description. So I shut her down now. Thank you.